Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with uh, Laravel form request validation. And if you go to the laravel.com inside the documentation, inside the validation we have the scroll down and you find this form request validation. And to create one, you run this command php artisan make request and give it the name of the request. I have opened the application we worked before. We have the post controller and we have the post and create blade edit index and show and inside the post we don't have any record right now. If I go to the blog post here. Okay, we don't have anything. If I create one, first item, some rubbish here. Yeah, we have a first item, a post. And if I go to the and refresh here, yeah, we have this one. And then with IDF3, and if I go here, the DF3, yeah. We can edit. We can edit here, we can delete. So if I go and update the post, yeah. Okay, but I want to show you how to remove this duplicated code. We have the same thing here and here. Okay. And to remove this one. And to remove this one, uh, I am going to terminal inside this application, and uh, here we're going to make a request, and I'm just going to copy this because it's store post request, and I'm going to name it the same thing. Hit enter and go here inside the HTTP. We have a request now and store request, store post request. And here we have the authorize and the rules. In authorize return true, and the rules are the same thing we have here. Just copy, pass it here. And save now. And inside this, we got to remove this one. And uh, not the request, but the uh, store post request. Save, make sure you import this. Uh, okay. And if I go now here and uh, go to the create. So if I get a post, we have the error. If I just put the title, create, we have the error and we have the title here. If I put something here now, not first title because we have a, but second uh, title, create a post. Yes, we have. And now inside the update, you can make the the same another thing. one for the because update the same. and put it here. But uh, in our case, we have the same logic, so we put the same request. request and save and now if I go here refresh we have ID 3 or 4 3 edit and if I leave it blank we have an error if I leave it blank this one we have an error again but if I 
remove the update just for the update okay this is how the request validation works and if we come here you see the explain of the teller as well and in the next video i'm going to work to show you the road model binding so we have in the show method this to find a post and if you see we have the same thing here here in update and in destroy and we're going to remove this so I'll see you in the next video